Have you been riding by yourself and suddenly found a reason to go over the bars and need help? Find out how Fly Racing's made safety smarter. Hey everyone, I'm Tim and today we're talking to Fly Racing's brand manager, Duncan Hale. Dunks, you've just brought in the Fly Racing Formula Carbon S, the smart helmet. Yep. Tell me more. Okay, so what we've introduced with the with the, the new Formula S is a um, basically got a smart chip in it. So it's got an electronic impact um, sensor, so it can detect crashes or detect when you've had a crash and things. And um, it does a whole host of other things. Um, before I dive too far into that, I just want to go back to. I guess where the formula started. So we introduced the Fly Formula helmet back in 2018. Um, it was pretty revolutionary at the time. It loaded off a cool. It offered a lot of cool features. Um, most you can quick, quickly, easily see them from the cutaway here. So the first thing that it had is this big blue pad, which is basically Rion. Um, it was designed to. Uh, help with low speed impacts, which is super important in the off-road market. Uh, it does linear and rotational impacts, basically. Um, now, I've got a little, just before I delve too far into that, I've got a little sample here, uh, kit of the Rion. So you can see it's just, it's a little pad, right? It's like honeycomb, I guess, some, some are soft, <laughs> soft honeycomb is what I was looking for. Uh, this is just a normal piece of EPA foam, which you would find in a normal helmet. This is the heavy steel ball. If we bounce it on the, the foam, you can see it bounces quite well. We put it on the Rion and it absorbs that impact, right? Yeah. So that's the main idea behind the Rion now. Rion is independently developed by, um, lad, by a lab in London. They do a lot with uh, the military sector uh, for vests and things like that. So obviously the material is super absorbent, um, which works well for those guys. So that's the first thing that the, the formula has is that. Second thing it has is the um, EPS foam, which is called, we call it cone head in this. Makes sense. It's, makes sense, yeah. It um, obviously it looks like a cone, right? It, um, it's designed to also help absorb impacts. It is soft and then as it progresses, it gets harder. Um, third thing we have is expanded EPS in the front and rear of the helmet. Research has shown us that 90% of head injuries in off-road occur either in the rear or the front. So it's high side flip back or face plant in. Um, fourth thing is the 12K carbon shell. So for the people that understand carbon fiber, 12K is 12,000 strands of carbon fiber per weave. Reason Fly went to a 12K is they have less, because it's a wider weave, there's less over under to make the shell, which means less resin, so you get a very strong, thin shell, which is super lightweight. So the Formula Helmets in the medium is only about 1,250 grams, so it's super light and obviously very strong. Uh, one other feature that it offers that, um, well, most others don't, but is the visor on these is flex, so it actually aids in absorbing that front impact. Yep. So I can see you thinking, okay, so that's cool. What about if you grab a tree or a branch or something underneath? She's up. Oh, so they just break away. Yep. Now that's not broken. No. It's just a matter of undoing that screw and popping that back in. Cool. So the Formula Carbons, which is the, the helmet we have here, actually come with a spare visor as well. Not that you're ever gonna need it, but have it. If you do, you got it right. It. Okay, so that's basically everything that the Formula Helmet, the original Formula Helmet offers. Yep. So you've got your Rion, your, ex your Conehead EPS, your expanded EPS, your 12K carbon shell. Yep. We offer three helmets in the range. So the carbon you can see here is the premium. We do it in a CP, which is a carbon composite shell. Same interior features, so they all offer the same features, but a different shell. So that's a composite, and we also offer it in a polycarbonate shell. Right. So, so significant price differences between one, two, and three. Correct. Yeah. You're looking at sort of 400, 700,000. Yeah. So there's the variation in price. Internal technology is all the same. So you can kind of, for whatever your budget is, you can get the technology, it's just a different shell. Yeah. And as, as someone who's wearing it and riding it, what would they feel differently between the three? The, the biggest difference between the, 
the three helmets will be weight, okay? Um, so the, the CP is a little bit heavier, probably 1350 versus 1300 versus 1250 in the carbon fiber. So a little bit different in weight. Um, the rate that they absorb impacts is obviously a bit different with the, 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 um, the makeup of the shell. Yep. But as, as I mentioned, all the internals are the same. Um, now, fitment. You mentioned fitment before. So this was not by design, this was just a byproduct of these, of these um, Rion parts. Because they work the seven around the helmet, they basically work as pressure points on your helmet, uh, on, on your skull, sorry. So I've yet to find anyone that this helmet doesn't fit. Right. Because it's not like your traditional helmet where your skull is actually going up against the liner, yep. which means, you know, in an in a older traditional helmet, your skull is actually against the liner. So quite often you'll get a tight point or a, you know, it's loose or whatever. So with this, because it acts like the Rion acts like a pressure point, you actually, it just fits. Like, they're really, really good. All right, Dunks, tell me about this, this smart helmet. Okay, so this is a game changer. So fly on top of the, the original, what we did back in 18 with the normal formula helmet. We've got all those features. We've now added an electronic impact sensor. So you're like, what's that about? Okay. So in the back, we have a, a sensor in the back here. We can see little blue light flashing there. That means it's activated. Um, it's the whole electronics is activated or operated via an app on your phone, which I'll quickly open up that you can see here. So this, has all your analytics in it. So it will do an impact, it will do your map your ride like, like a Strava system, it will give you data on um, if, you've had, if you've had an accident, the, but the big one, it offers an SOS feature. So when you set the phone up, when you set the helmet up with your phone, uh, you can put a bunch of emergency contacts in there. So when you are out riding, you do have an accident, you have an impact in the helmet, uh, it will send a text message to whoever you've nominated in your phone, yep. um, which is a super cool feature for guys that ride alone, right? Absolutely. Even even with you riding with your mates and you get you know you get a bit separated if the trails are dusty or whatever, and you're riding apart, um, it, 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 ha it has that feature, right? Which is fantastic. Well, even it's just one less thing for your friends to do while they're trying to look after you, waiting for someone to come. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Um, so, really awesome feature. So as I mentioned before, it's got all the same features as before. Um, blue light on the back here, which means it's activated. Um, it's just, you can charge it up here. It carries about 60 hours worth of ride time um, in the battery. It's a tiny little chip in the back. It doesn't hinder anything. It's waterproof. Um, really cool, so. Okay, what will this do? So I can do a quick test for you. So obviously, if you have an impact, as I mentioned, it sends a message to your to your emergency contact but we can do a quick test you can see that the light here is blue yep. if i tap it four times that now turns to red yep. and there's been a, a crash alert passive crash on alert. my phone yep. yep so it's up to me now i've got a 12 second window to cancel that say yes i'm okay or that will automatically send a text message to my emergency contacts um, now with that when your emergency contacts get that text that will give you a GPS location. So if you're wherever you are, um, emergency services can see exactly where you are. Now, you have to have your phone with you though, okay? So you can't be, if you have no cell service or anything like that, it's not gonna work. But that's pretty rare now that you wouldn't have phone service. Um, and I would say if you're doing a trip across the desert or the Simpson or something like that, you would be, you would have your phone, but you would need to have a sat phone or an e-perb, but you'd be pretty silly not to. Yeah. Um, but for the average person, this is an absolute game changer. So <laughs> I've had a lot of questions. People have been like, okay, what about if I'm just riding on the trail and I hit a tree branch? So just one impact, if you can imagine, nothing. Like it, it's not enough to set it off, okay? Um, obviously, if you, hit a tree or something, a branch hard enough that it activates it, that's potentially what we're trying to avoid, right? So you need to get, get yourself checked out or at least stop, check your helmet, things like that. But that level of, of impact would be like a noticeable impact, right? Like Correct, yeah, just a little thing, like, like I said, just a little hit like that is, is not gonna do anything. But if you've actually hit a branch on a tree significant enough to activate it, then that's what the helmet's designed to do, right? Yeah. Um, so another thing that, with that 
a lot of parents are just all about with this helmet is for their kids wearing it and the kid has a crash on the track and he comes in and goes, hey dad, I'm fine, I just want to ride my bike, he wants to ride. You can actually check and go, hey, that was actually a pretty severe impact. I think maybe you should sit the rest of the day out or maybe we should go and get checked, right? Because you know what kids are like, they just want to ride their bike. So I don't know, mine are like they fall off and they come in with a big chunk of mud on the helmet and like, you fall off, mate. They go, no, no, I'm fine. All good, I just want to ride. So that's a cool thing. So you can actually, um, you know, just keep track of, of any accidents that your kids have. Um, now, another thing, the phone needs to be within 30 meters of the helmet for it to actually work. So another question I've had is what about if I'm at a race or something like that, I have a, have a crash, I hit my head and I come back in, like what do, I, what do I know? So this has a memory, so once you back within range of your phone, it will automatically pick up that impact. Right, so you don't actually have to be riding with your phone on you? No, okay. no. So I would recommend, obviously, if you're in the bush, you need oh, yeah. to, people have their phone in one, right? Um, if you're practicing at, a, say, a motocross track on your own, I would recommend carrying your phone, you know, whether you get a, a quad lock on your handlebar or you do it on your arm or something. I, I would recommend that if you're riding on your own. But certainly if you, you know, you have a, you, if you're in a race environment, you obviously you can't carry your phone. You actually have a crash on the track. When you come back to your pit area, get back with the range of your phone, it's gonna register that crash. You can have a quick look at, ooh, that was pretty severe. Maybe I should get checked out. Right, okay. So you've spoken about the, the beacon, you've spoken about the, the SOS capabilities. Yep. You mentioned before you can do things like racing similar to Strava. Yes, so uh, right at length. So this will measure your total distance, average speed, um, braking, uh, your, the route you've taken. You can then share that with your buddies if they've got the same helmet, you can share where you rode um, for next time they can do the same ride as you. Um, so super cool on that feature. Obviously down the track, because it's, a, it's an app on your phone, there's gonna be heaps of additional features that we can add to this. Uh, so the initial, just the basic safety app for the helmet is free. Um, if you wanna do more um, in-depth analytics and stuff like that, there is a fee to buy the app. I think it's $7.95 or something like that, but it's a small price to pay for what you're getting in this package, right? Yeah. So, I mean, this helmet's only $100 more expensive than the traditional formula. So it's super affordable. Um, it's un just under $1,000. Yeah, it's a, it's a great product and um, been very well received to, into the market, yeah. So with the sensor, you said it was only small, it sits in the back. Is there anything that goes within the helmet? Or is it no. ju it's just connected to the, like the shell and the shell kind of just monitors those impacts? Yeah, it's, it's all integrated in. Um, so it, it basically whatever, it can detect rotation. Obviously if the helmet's upside down impact, it can detect that. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's motion, obviously motation, <laughs> motion rotational sensor, yes. Okay. And obviously impact as well. Cool. What about colors, options in the range? I say, so we've started, the first helmet that we've landed is this um, gloss carbon. Then we will have the legacy graphics, which will be here in probably a month. Uh, there's four colorways in that. Um, sizing in the helmet, there's, again, I, I've mentioned this before, it, there's no need to buy a helmet that's a little bit too big because all the internals, pads and everything are replaceable. So. Especially for kids, you can buy a youth large helmet, uh, which is a nice snug fit now. It grows out of it in six months, you can just replace it with extra small pads. Right. So there's three shells in the, in the lineup. So you do youth large to small, and then medium large is another shell, and then extra large 2XL is another shell. So there's no reason to be not having a perfect fitting helmet. No, that's right, and absolutely fit is, is paramount, especially when it comes to kids. As you would expect with a premium helmet, uh, we offer the, the additional cushioning in the back here and also in the clavicle area uh, just to help protect the collarbones um, in, a, in an impact. Cool, thanks Dunks. Uh, it's a great overview of the range. This smart helmet is, is pretty amazing considering it is at the forefront of technology. I don't think there's anyone else who's doing that. So whether you're prone to going over the bars or just looking for that next level of safety, Fly's got you covered.